Today, from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, this is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff. No such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chiefs offense coming out here and bringing them onto the field. The most valuable player of last year's Super Bowl, and that's Patrick Mahomes. They often say you can't force situations. You just have to let them happen organically. And that's exactly what happened in Kansas City as Patrick Mahomes took over as the quarterback and has become the face of the franchise in the NFL as we now move into the 101st season. Fourth year in the league, already has an MVP, a Super Bowl title, and a Super Bowl MVP on his resume. Three huge games in the postseason last year, 10 touchdowns, just two interceptions, and two more on the ground. He just keeps getting better and better. And every time you watch him play, you want to see more. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Third catch for him on this drive alone and it'll give him a first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back, -back, five yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. And he's going to be swallowed up. 
sacked back at the 45-yard line. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you got a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or very lights quickly. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 13. Mike 56, Mike 56. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. This taken in by Jakeem Grant. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Looking sideline, incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time, spectacular plays, that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. It's complete to Grand. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard, here's second and nine. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant, and it's third down. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Going to the air, Tungabailoa. 
He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. Nicole Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Mahomes now to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So Miami coming out for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the turnover, it's Tua, and it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Ball at the 33, second and nine. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And he finds a man on the crossing round. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Someone's looking fresh, and this O-line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain too. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Tua, and it's caught. 
It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. From back at the four, here's second and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. They were able to push him backwards on first down, but this time he forces his way in. I wonder if he went back to the huddle and said, guys, just a little bit more help and I can get it done on this one. Maybe even overruled the play call from the sideline, just feeling like he had that opportunity and he wanted to cash it in. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. So the drive there took six plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Hardman on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs on first and 10 at their own 26. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And once again, the Dolphin defense holds firm as they'll stop him behind the line of scrimmage. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Dolphins 
Browns bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Miami set to take over. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Tongue of Iloa to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Daniel Sorensen there on the coverage. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Let's go, let's go. Two are going to throw. Going deep here for Parker. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive. And then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to have the football back again. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Here's Hardman to return. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. KC's offense ready to take over. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complementary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. She took the words right out of my mouth. Mahomes now on first down. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 48 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Two and now on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And the Chiefs are going to get him. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And it's caught by Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. And a quick throw here, that's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Tua sets up to pass it. Throw left side complete. That's Grant. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Now a short one to Gesicki. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Yo. 
first and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And now where are they going to mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one-yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other way. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Back to the ground, this time with Bell. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Seven, seven, our score after one. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. Now Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run on first down. Bell, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 more there and another first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. First down, Mahomes. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. 
Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Now here's Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time nine yards and the sticks move again. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Mahomes on target there to Hill. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. First and ten, here's Mahomes. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the all-pro tight end, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. to throw once more. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Now it's Mahomes again. A screen to Bell. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That catch good for only a couple. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Third and goal now. Mere inches from Pater. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Demarcus Robinson there to make the grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, 
Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here comes Grant on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And a lot of times you talk about establishing the ground game Probably something they need to do more of here losing in the second quarter. When you're riding your best horse, you've got to lather him up. The best running backs I've ever talked to, they've all said the exact same thing to me. I'll even break a good sweat until I get to 20 carries. You're full of good wisdom. Let's see if they can get him into the game more now. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 right at the 30. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll give it here to his running back. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Tug of Ilo are going to try and throw on third down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Tua. His throw incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki. That'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Looking to pass, Tua, and incomplete. The target there, Mac Hollins, and now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range, so now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And they'll get this down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal.
going to throw again. And that is incomplete here. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. In trouble and he'll go down back at the 12. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Jason Sanders now for the Miami field goal. Sanders' kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Le'Veon Bell making his way back out onto the field now. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. Out of the gun, he'll throw. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll run, it's Edwards Alaire. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They hand off to their big tight end. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down at inches. The Chiefs on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. To throw, it's Mahomes. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick. There he goes, left side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage. 
and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? On second down, it's Bell. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The offense on third down today, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for them, too. Mahomes now on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Throwing now is Mahomes. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Christian Wilkins just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Oh, 
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Mahomes throwing complete there to Robinson. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. The Chiefs on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Now he's flushed out left. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bell. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard, as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Not much there, only a yard. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Now this is Le'Veon Bell with a reception. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's a gain of five on the play. And it'll be third down. the gun it's Mahomes that one complete to Hill and he'll be taken down at the two yard line they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal so in the second quarter he's already up over 100 yards receiving now and isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver so you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up-tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer out him again. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards-Alaire taking it in. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Alaire.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Getting set to go again on offense, here's Devontae Parker now. With them losing here in the second quarter and his limited productivity so far, you'd have to think they're going to try to look to him a little bit more, right? I would guess you would start to see maybe some quick screens, some hitches, anything to get the ball in his hands quickly and let him try and do some damage after the catch. Or maybe just flip some formations and keep him isolated where it's more of a one-on-one -on -one route and get the ball to him. I say just four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four <laughs> verts, one of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one catch for him. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Two and now on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. From midfield, here's Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Tua now on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Grant. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Again, they will throw it with Tunga Bailoa. Throw left side, complete. That's Grant. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? The return man is Graham. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. It's complete to Parker, left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Now here's a throw that's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. From the gun, it's Tua. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Keep on coming, Keep coming. Let's go. Mike 40. 53. He don't know no better. Mike 53. 53. Let's go. Here's Gaskin. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Play action, tongue of Iloa. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bashan Breland. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47 yard line. What did you see there, Charles, on that interception from the rookie? They've shown him certain looks on defense throughout the first half. And they pulled the string here in the second half because he got used to those looks and they showed the exact same thing but changed it up just a little bit where he thought something was open. And now, with the change in defense, it no longer was. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're... And that's going to be intercepted by the pro bowler, Xavier Howard. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. 
These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Gonna give this time to the tailback. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now second and seven from the 23. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. It's complete to Grant. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down, and that's what he just did. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Two with a throw complete to Parker. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, ball. he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. They'll run now with Gaskin. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. The last run got six. Now second and four. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Another run with Gaskin. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Now Tua. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 28. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. This is Gaskin on the carry. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down and seven. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. 
They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Tua sets up to pass it. And is caught right at the 10-yard line. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. On play action, here's Tua. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Parker unable to get that one, but it'll be second and goal. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. That was a huge play on third down. So now what? Do you go for it? Do you trust your offense? Or do you want to put on your defense to try and get the ball back? Me? I'm going for it right here. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sanders' kick is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Oh, 
They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. Four yards to pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. On second down, it's Bell. And once again, the Dolphin defense holds firm as they'll stop him behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. Again with Bell. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That's how you get right up off of the mat, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Bell. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Second and 11. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 41-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. 
A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And again, it's Mahomes. Goes underneath for Bell. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. Shut him down! Shut him down! Let's do this! So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Grant sets to return it. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Miami set to take over. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. He'll get this into the hands of Brita. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On first down, here's Breida. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Brought in over the middle by Graham. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four.
They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. From midfield, here's Tua. Forced out to his left. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And I don't think he got there. He did not, they stop him a yard shy. He needed two, he only got one. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. And defensively, they were ready for that, a full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. This is Bell. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 43-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Flushed out right. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. It showed some tough running, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. It's Shaq Lawson who worked his way in there to get him down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Throw 
going is Mahomes on third. This will be caught at about the five. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you've got to think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and that will force a turnover on downs. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason... It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Now Tua, a big spot for the rookie from Alabama. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. Now an open man, that's the tight end Gesicki, it's complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long, that throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm gonna keep firing. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. From the gun, it's Tua. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards there, first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Now they go screen, it's complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Tua setting up shot to throw again. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And again, it's Tunga Vailoa. It's complete to Grand. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. 
So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. Two and a throw again. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. and now on first down. That'll be complete to Breida. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. It, Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. That is caught at the seven. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are once again going to retake the lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Hardman on the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. And he'll throw right away. A screen to Bell. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, a quick slant to Hill. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. On first down, Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Five yards, now it's third and five. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Mahomes to throw once more. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. <laughs> Operating from the red zone now, the Holmes. Incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. They get 7 out of that, so they're left with a 3rd and 3. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead.
Butker on for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, ke keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether That's it's simple, the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the uh, football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. He'll have a first down past the 40. He'll get this into the hands of Breida. And all the way up to the 46. The end result, 21 yards. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Tonga Bailoa. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. His throw caught at about the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? Everything changes now after that big play. They've got a chance to strike. They'll look to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's 
got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Hardman on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down 34-31, 35 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. To throw is Mahomes. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. back to throw and incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it and it took the ball off course here now is second and ten again from the 41 Back to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right, they got it done. Looks like they're gonna be the winners. Butker now to add the extra point. And it would appear they're gonna get out of here with a come from behind victory. So that drive, four plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here comes Grant on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. On the right side open is Gasicki. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.